Bonjour everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for many years and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredient. And today's video is going to be pretty straightforward because I want to answer one question that I have very, very often, especially on Instagram, which is can I mix niacinamide with my acid and especially with vitamin C? And well, I am here to tell you exactly if you can or not. So let's start it. So first thing first, a brief concentrate about niacinamide. I have dedicated actually all video about uh, this ingredient, which is an excellent ingredient, I have to say. So niacinamide is also known as pro-vitamin B3. So you can, like I've said, just check my video if you exactly want to know a little bit more about it. This is one of those molecules that naturally occurs in our skin and also in most of our cells. You even find them in plants, in fungus and etc. This is one of those molecules that are really necessary for life. So it is part of what we call the energetic process. And we know that when you apply niacinamide on the skin, it helps to boost the synthesis, uh, for example, of ceramides, which is an excellent thing. It can also prevent hyperpigmentation. It is also an anti-inflammatory ingredient and it seems also to help with acne, I would say more in the management of acne and etc. And I think, but I'm not sure of it, that this is probably the ordinary that have started this myth that basically you cannot mix an acid with niacinamide and etc. So, well, what did I do <laughs> like usual? I mean, I've been to the source, which is basically research papers. And for this video, I actually had the help from an Instagram friend of me. Her name is Chromophora. I'm going to link an Instagram account in the description box. And she was actually the one to tell me, no, no, there are some papers that actually show that niacinamide is very, very stable. So, and we are going to have a little look at them. So they are like really old papers, like really old. One of them is like from 1951. Yes, I did read them and now I am here to tell you exactly if niacinamide is stable or not. So one last thing before I dive in, what is very important is that niacinamide can be hydrolyzed into niacin. You will be like, what? What did he say? What? So hydrolyzation is basically a chemical reaction that involves water and niacinamide in presence of water can turn into niacin. But when you look at the scientific literature, this indeed can happen at a really low pH. So a pH of one, so very, very acidic. This is basically the type of pH that you can only get from a professional from a professional and I highly encourage you to not do this at home because it could be very dangerous and you can basically completely burn your skin. Would you want to do something like that? I guess not. And also you need to heat the system in order to have the hydrolyzation from uh, niacinamide. So just from the start, you can see that this is a very, very stable ingredient. And what is very nice is that in one of those papers, they also start to say that Basically, if you put niacinamide into an autoclave, an autoclave is uh, those type of machines that are used by doctors, but also by all biologists to sterilize the lab equipment and etc. the scalpels for doctors. And basically, this is high pressure that is heated until 120 Celsius. And in those very harsh conditions for 20 minutes, you still have 100% niacinamide that has not been degraded. So as you can see, very super stable. Of course, what is relevant for us in the skincare world is can I mix basically my niacinamide with, for example, my beloved vitamin C serum, such as the C Glow from Geek and Gorgeous, which is this bipod right here. I have already talked about this one, I have a whole video about this one, but it also could be the one from SkinCeuticals. It could be the one from Polachoid, the C15 booster, that is also an excellent one. Or it could also simply be the 30% AHA from the ordinary, so the um, peeling. And at room temperature, so basically where we live, you can see that even at a low pH, a 1 pH 3, you still have even six weeks after uh, basically 100% niacinamide that has not been degraded. So in a nutshell, you can totally use your niacinamide with every type of acid available in over-the-counter skincare. Actually, niacinamide is a very, very stable ingredient. So, like always, what is very important is where those information are coming from. I do not know what the ordinary, uh, how they start this false uh, rumor, because this is completely not true. And like I said, 
niacinamide is extremely uh, simple so don't be worried about it also the last thing that i want to tell you is of course be always careful if you are using any type of product whether it is niacinamide based or not and you have a very harsh uh, reaction a lot of redness and external itchiness stop using it it just means that there is something in the formula so it could be one ingredient it could be uh, the combination of several ingredients that is not just for your skin and basically uh, that's it so stop to use the product if it is something that happens a lot to you take those products and go to your dermatologist and show um, and show basically the products to your dermatologist because you may you may be um allergic to one of the component okay so basically that's it for today for once it was pretty short of course if you did like this video give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe also to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos you can also check my instagram account i am Cyril laurent i am doing a lot of live and a lot of stuff is happening also on instagram so definitely check it out thank you so so much for being here and i will see you next time Bye bye